So I have immunotherapy today. I'm getting ready to go to that. I'm gonna take you with me and kind of give you the whole rundown of what that is like. And for those of you that don't know what kind of immunotherapy I'm on or don't remember, I'm on Keytruda. And I, I'm supposed to get it every three weeks, but right now because of my busy summer schedule, it's kind of off. This is week four and then my next one I'll get I think week four or five as well because I am traveling first of September so I right now I'm just packing my snacks I like to bring snacks even though it's it's pretty short appointment like the infusion itself is pretty short it's only 30 minutes once it starts going I'm there at the hospital for like three and a half hours so this is what I'm bringing, snack-wise. Apple, I got some seaweed. I love these plantain chips. They are the best. And then some hummus. And of course, water. And I'm gonna bring water, coconut water as well. So before I go to immunotherapy, I am going to go get my tabs because I am a total dingling and completely spaced. I even had the paperwork laid out and then we went on our family trip and I got back and realized yesterday when, what was it, August 7th, that um, my tabs were expired. So fortunately there's a place right by my house that doesn't usually have lines and it's enough it's far enough past August 1st because you know tabs are always due around that's actually not true yeah that is true they're always due around the first of the month um, so I'm crossing my fingers that there's not a line wish me luck so I was in and out of there in less than five minutes this is like the secret little location that I feel like nobody knows about. So now I'm gonna head to the hospital for immunotherapy. So I just got home from immunotherapy and it is 
3.30. So I left the house at 10.30 this morning, got to the hospital about 11.45, left at three. So that was just over three hours. It's pretty standard for immunotherapy. Sometimes it's a little bit longer, sometimes it's a little bit less, but it's because I have to do blood work and I have to go talk to my doctor and then I have to come back and go up to treatment. I'm feeling pretty tired, pretty out of it. They don't give you any kind of pre-meds, but I think the whole day in and of itself is just really tiring. And then the immunotherapy makes me a little off. Like I'm starting to get a bit of a headache, but I thought I would take this opportunity to talk a little bit more about my experience and process with immunotherapy. I put out a question on Instagram and asked what questions you might have. So I thought I would go over some of those and give you a rundown. I didn't get too many questions, but the first question I got, I got was, what does immunotherapy do for cancer patients? Is it because of chemo or cancer? For some reason, immunotherapy is really hard for me to explain, but the short of the long is it basically teaches, from my understanding, it teaches your body, your immune system, how to find the cancer and kill them before they can take over in your body. Uh, one of the things I learned was that cancer is really good at hiding in your body and from your immune system. so it often hides and then it replicates and spreads. Um, this is a very baseline explanation of it. <laughs> so I don't know all of the scientific terms. So the point of immunotherapy, it's usually given with chemo or as maintenance like I'm on, is to teach my body how to find cancer and then kill it before it takes over. It doesn't work on every cancer there are certain cancers that immunotherapy hasn't been successful with yet. That's basically the most I know. Yeah, so it's it's supposed to be maintenance treatment for me. Long term is the goal with this. It's supposed to prevent it from happening again. This isn't about immunotherapy, but somebody asked me, what are you looking forward to with the upcoming season change? And I just love this question because as much as I'm a summer person, I love the fall. It is my favorite time of year. And well, as I get older, I will say that the summer is right up there with my favorite time of year because I like being warm, but I love the feel of fall and I love the transitioning into sweater weather. I don't love so much the shorter days, but I do love the crisp air. I love the leaves changing, the smells in the air, the candles. I'm most looking forward to, I would say my mom and I are doing a cancer, we're going to a cancer retreat in November. And it is, I'm blanking on the name of it, but I'll add it below. And it's free for cancer patients and their caretakers. And you have to apply for it and we got accepted. And so it's a couple days of, I think it'll be really, really great to be around other people who have experienced this or are experiencing it. Okay, so I got the question, do you have side effects from your immunotherapy? Does it affect your energy level? And then they just go in to talk about how they're gonna be starting it. So I am on Keytruda and yes, there are side effects from this. If you watched, I think it was like two, shared it in, two videos ago, but I had a really bad reaction to my last round of immunotherapy and I got a rash from head to toe. So that is a pretty common side effect um, with, I know Keytruda, but I think immunotherapy in general. So this is, this is what usually happens for me. So I go in for treatment. I think the day in of itself is just a longer, more time consuming and exhausting day. So I leave feeling pretty tired but by the time I get home I can start feeling my stomach is a little upset and 
I start to get a little bit of a headache and then usually by the evening my stomach is very upset and I'm experiencing either diarrhea or nausea um, I've had both experiences two treatments ago I had nausea for like a week and I had to get back on my anti-nausea medication I didn't have it last time but I did have really bad um, digestive issues then I got a horrible horrible rash um, but there is a long list of different side effects and I think it's dependent on your particular body so I, I you know as much as I researched it I also wanted to kind of go into it a little bit blind because I didn't want to think that just because other people had a side effect that I was going to have it too especially coming off of chemotherapy and just how devastating that whole experience can be I wanted to have a pretty like open mind that maybe my immunotherapy experience could be better I also have some breathing issues like my chest feels really heavy and that is a side effect uh, you can get like I think it's pneumonia or some some I forget what the actual word is but I'll leave it below you know you can get a rash so bad that you have to be put on steroids I have a topical steroid cream that I use now but I'm really really trying to not have to go on steroids at all and then there's like general fatigue I think that it's cumulative 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 and so as I continue to go forth with more and more immunotherapy I'll probably get more and more tired maybe not again I don't know that seems to be a a uh, pretty common side effect is just fatigue and I've definitely been more tired it can totally throw off and destroy your thyroid and I already had hypothyroidism so my doctor's having to keep a really cl close eye on my thyroid levels and so we're constantly adjusting my medication other than that I feel like I get a little bit inflamed like puffy for like a week and then that goes down but again every week has been different so I have been consistently getting some kind of like light rash or just like like a redness for the first couple days but uh, last time was a really bad rash so we will just see what I wake up to tomorrow more so Thursday Friday and Saturday would probably be the worst days but so far my overall experience with Keytruda has been pretty good like nothing has happened where I feel like I need to have immediate medical attention but again you just take it case by case I already told my doctor a while ago that if this this is always going to be a quality of life for me because it's just maintenance and I'm not doing this because we're trying to cure something I'm in remission they removed all of the cancer in my surgery me it's quality of life like if I start to get really sick or have like debilitating side effects I'll stop immunotherapy but right now it's going good and oh I will say this I do get pain in my pelvis after immunotherapy I don't exactly I've read other people that get this too I don't know exactly why it happens I like to think that it's like your body killing any potential cancer cells <laughs> maybe that sounds so weird but um yeah so I, that is something that's consistently happened every time as I get pain in my pelvis which is where my cancer was other than that you know I have had again a pretty good experience with this now I don't go back in until September 11th because I'm going on a vacation I don't want to have it before I go because of the symptoms and side effects I get so I, I'll let you know in a couple days how I'm doing and what side effects I got this round. Let me know again if you have any other questions that I can answer, just leave them in the comments below and I'm happy to share anything I can. If you feel inclined, make sure that you subscribe and like and do all the things. Share with anybody that may be about to go through immunotherapy or on their own cancer journey and they can always reach out to me. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.